Established in 1870, Fairfax County's Centerville Magisterial District included the communities of Centerville, Chantilly, and Clifton. Because of racial segregation in public education, there were two schools in Clifton, one for white children and one for black children. The school for black children was first held in Clifton Primitive Baptist Church until 1878, when a new school was constructed in the town. That school was replaced in 1924 by the building pictured here, a two-room schoolhouse that was built using one of the Rosenwald Foundation's school plans. Built in 1892, the two-story building shown here was the town of Clifton's second schoolhouse for white children. In 1907, it became one of Fairfax County's first public high schools. In 1912, a new school, then called Clifton High School, was constructed on the hillside overlooking the town. The building housed elementary and high school classes until 1935, when the secondary students were reassigned to Fairfax High School. The building at Clifton continued to house students in the elementary grades until the opening of Clifton Elementary School on the same property in 1953. The Cub Run School, also possibly called the Black Rock School, was built around 1887 on land donated by Jemima Harris. It replaced an earlier school that once stood about a mile away on Naylor Road. Called Rock Hill, the earlier school had been built with assistance from the Freedmen's Bureau after the American Civil War. The Cub Run School was replaced in 1931 by the two-room building pictured here. The school educated black children from the Centerville area until its closure in 1953. Today, the building houses the Centerville Assembly of God Church. The Legato School, a one-room schoolhouse for white children, was built in 1877. It once stood on the south side of Route 29 at Pheasant Ridge Road. Lillian Millen taught at Legato in 1906 and again from 1925 until the school's closure in 1930. In 1969, the Legato School was chosen by the Fairfax County School Board for preservation as part of the school system's 100th anniversary commemoration. The building was moved to the Fairfax County Courthouse Complex, where it was repurposed as a school museum. The small hamlet of Pender was once located at the intersection of Route 50 and West Ox Road. The Pender School operated there from 1900 to 1923. Pender was featured in an article by John Harry Shannon, also known as The Rambler, in the Washington Star newspaper in 1921, in which Shannon described meeting teacher Tracy Gaines at her schoolhouse. The Pope's Head School, located on Pope's Head Road at Ledoux Lane, was built around 1883. Pictured here is a register book used from 1899 to 1901 by Pope's Head teachers Thomas Garnett and George Malcolm, in which they recorded the school's daily program of studies, pupil list, and attendance log. The Pope's Head School closed in 1930, and the property was sold to B.C. Shelton, who converted it into a dwelling. The former schoolhouse was destroyed by fire in 2018. The Red Hill School, also known as the Bull Run School, was built in 1891. Located on Bull Run Post Office Road, the school was named for Red Hill Farm, which took its name from the reddish clay soil prevalent in the area. The Rock Hill School, not to be confused with the Freedmen's Bureau School on Naylor Road, was a school for white children that once stood on Braddock Road, northwest of its intersection with Old Lee Road. The school was named for the topography of the area and operated from the early 1900s until 1931. Follow Schools of Yesteryear as we continue to explore the history of the early public schools of Fairfax County.